CBT has a manufacturing center located in Shenzhen, a major electronic center in southern China's Guangdong province, situated immediately north of Hong Kong. The area became China's first and one of the most successful special economic zones. Shenzhen's modern cityscape is the result of the vibrant economy made possible by rapid foreign investment since the establishment of the Special Economic Zone in late 1979. Shenzhen is now considered to be one of the fastest growing cities in the world and southern mainland China's major financial center and the headquarters of numerous high-tech companies. It is also the third busiest container port in China after Shanghai and Hong Kong. In addition to the Shenzhen manufacturing site, there is a logistics center located in Hong Kong, approximately one hour away by car. Shenzhen is also a short one hour flight from other key electronics hubs, including Taipei and Shanghai. The Shenzhen manufacturing facility provides a vertically integrated model optimized for the manufacturing of front panels and small enclosures. In our tour, we will follow the manufacturing process through documentation, tooling and fixturing design and fabrication, metal parts fabrication, punching and CNC, punch and countersink, surface preparation, finishing, including silk screening and overlays, and final assembly. From start to finish, quality is priority one throughout the manufacturing process. The Shenzhen facility is 14,000 and ISO 2001-2008 certified and quality is evident at every step. Shenzhen's quality department supports a wide range of test and measurement equipment for analysis at prototyping, during in-process inspection, and for final inspection. Tools to assist in ensuring products meet all dimensional requirements include two CMM's coordinate measuring machines, an optical comparator, a multi-function tester with a granite bed for flatness, height, and depth testing, and numerous calipers and go-no-go -no -go gauges for in-process checks. For FAIs and process verification, additional testing is often required. Shenzhen has a Rojas tester to verify material composition and thickness and an environmental chamber to validate the performance of finishes. Tool design and manufacturing is a core competency of the Shenzhen facility and the first stop on our tour prior to the manufacturing operations. With multiple drill presses, four wire cutting EDM machines to fabricate tooling, and a strong competency in manufacturing engineering, the Shenzhen team is expert in creating cost-effective, accurate, and robust tooling for a wide range of products. Shown here are several of the complex tools which were fabricated. Next, we will begin our tour of the manufacturing operations, starting with blanking and forming. More than 100 punch presses and 29 progressive die stamping machines are in the Shenzhen factory, which typically ships almost 1 million brackets and front panels per month per shift. The first step in blanking is adding I.O. cutouts and panel features. Next, the panel is punched from the metal roll. Shown here are PCI brackets being punched in a sequence of steps. Generally, brackets are fabricated from cold roll steel as shown here in coils. Throughout the process, work instructions and drawings are used to ensure consistency and accuracy in the process. After parts are blanked, Forming is generally the next step for smaller parts. Forming is typically done on a press with tooling specific to the required shape. Specialized tooling is often required to achieve consistency, small bend radii, and complex shapes. For lower volume or larger parts, fabrication is typically performed either on the punch fabricator or the laser fabricator. The laser is perfect for low to medium volume solutions, generally requiring no tooling. The laser includes a sheet feeder for automated operation. The fabricators can handle a wide range of materials, including aluminum, stainless, CRS, and galvalum. Once blanks are fabricated, the next operation is forming. For larger parts, including enclosures and larger front panels, the press brakes are used. 
Shenzhen has three press brakes with different capabilities to handle a wide range of products with both complex and simple bins. As we continue through the manufacturing process, PEMing is the next step. Shenzhen has 10 PEM inserters with tooling to handle a myriad of inserts and sizes. For extruded front panels versus sheet metal parts, the first step, once the blanks have been cut from the lineal, is CNC. Shenzhen has 28 CNC machines with a wide range of supporting, fixturing, and tooling. At every step in the process, there are numerous quality checks to verify consistency in the process and performance of the tooling. For sheet metal or extruded parts, surface preparation is a key step to ensure the parts meet customers' aesthetic requirements. There are 12 surface grinders of different types for graining and surface preparation on both aluminum and steel parts. As we move through the process, smaller complex parts may require welding or riveting. Shenzhen has a six-axis robotic welder, which can handle many different types of parts, from thin metal components to larger enclosures. Shown here is a very intricate thin steel part, which requires 52 welds, which are performed in less than two minutes. Fixturing and tooling is a key element of this process also. In addition to welding, riveting is also used for complex assemblies or assemblies with moving parts such as disc trays. Great attention is paid to quality throughout the process to ensure there are no blemishes or marks and the parts function correctly. Next, the parts are plated or powder coated and then they move to labeling, which typically involves etching, engraving, silk screening, or overlays. Shenzhen has the capability to perform all of these operations in-house, so let's start with silk screening. Silk screen artwork is created and then the parts are screened internally to match the customer's color and location requirements. Shenzhen also manufactures short runs of overlays in-house. First a die is created to cut the mylar, the markings are applied, then the parts are inspected and die cut. In-house manufacturing of overlays reduces lead times, particularly for small lots and prototypes. A wide range of mylar overlays can be created in single or multi-colors. Final assembly completes the process. A wide range of components may be included in the final assembly process, including overlays, ejectors, gasketing, insulators, mounting hardware, LEDs, and connectors. Shenzhen's assembly line is designed to ensure consistency and quality with in-process inspection and the use of calibrated tools such as automatic screwdrivers. Examples of the final product include panels, ejectors, brackets, and enclosures. A trained and dedicated workforce with a quality mindset is key to meeting customers' expectations. The more than 200 employees in Shenzhen are focused on the quality of the product, processes, and service and support customers globally, including many of the world's largest contract equipment manufacturers and global OEMs.